Yes, yes, it's the Chatterbox trailer reviews. Don't know the don't know. We got to go out with a bang this year. And there's some big trailers that have just come out, released. So many to watch. Ladies, love, tell us what's up first. I know you've chosen a few special ones for this week. Yes, so this one is WandaVision, which is out on Disney Plus on January the 15th. It consists of six episodes. Now I'll give you a little synopsis. Living idolized suburban lives, superpowered beings Wanda and Vision begin to suspect that everything is not as it seems. All right, cool. Let's see what they got to say, man. So what's a single gal like you doing rattling around this big house? Well, I assure you, I'm married. We're a man, a human one. What? What's it been? We are an unusual couple. Oh, I don't think that was ever in question. We just don't know what to expect. Howdy, neighbors. Hey, bud. Who are you? I don't know. I think something's wrong here. Wanda, can you read me? Who's doing this to you? Are you here to help us? This is not home. Then let's fight for it. Marvel have definitely upgraded themselves, man. Yeah, the right, they give nothing away as well, man. That, yeah, you I know like what? I've, 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 seen, I, I, I've seen something similar before, but it's quite interesting because um, I'm looking at the glitches and the gl it's, it's almost like they, they're telling you something, something's not real, something's going to happen, something's there, some. Something's there within the glitches, man. It, it looks quite interesting. But it, it's almost like they're not telling you anything. You've got to watch it in order to find out really what's going on. Because, you know, sometimes trailers just give away everything. But this it. Yeah. But it's only when they became one then vision again, then suddenly everything kind of comes together. So is this reality? Is it an alternate reality? Mm. Interesting. I I, I think you guys are giving it too much credit. The trailer looks rubbish. I just, <laughs> I just, I just looked at it and goes, if that was a Marvel and um, we'd be looking at this and go, what kind of nonsense is it? I don't have, at the moment, I don't see anything funny about it. It doesn't look engaging. It's just like, I no, I'm, I wasn't impressed by that. I don't know. Yeah, I, nah. I, I disagree with um, that in terms of if it, it's only because it's Marvel. Marvel, that's not really true for me personally because I'm interested in those kind of shows anyway but in terms of the trailer itself it intrigues me I want to know what's happening I know it's connected to Doctor Strange movie that's coming out after so I know something big's gonna happen and, and it mm. does look interesting I like those characters I like Vision I like Wonder. so yeah I'm really interested to see what happens and um, yeah some new characters I saw there as well so yeah I'm looking forward to yeah. it. Do you, guys, do you think you're not giving it credit because it's linked to a franchise? And on, on, we're, basically, we're basing it on the trailer that we saw. What about that trailer was dynamic? About that but trailer. I, I just said why I liked it, yeah. and people will say if they like it or not. You didn't, but somebody yeah. might. I, I would say it was dynamic. I would say, for me, it, it wasn't dynamic, but it left me thinking, okay, what really is happening here? Mm. what's yeah. with the, the black and white, then the colour and the glitching. And it's almost like, and it's just like a different reality. So for me, there's something behind the scenes, something there that's going to unfold, something big that's, that's yeah, likely to unfold. I, 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 and I think um, to add to what Andre was saying as well before, I think um, based on the fact that you know something's going on because you've got all the glitches and different things happening, it looks like, 
she's in a bit of a dream anyway. And then obviously that tied into the fact that, you know, Marvel's always doing something with a thought process of the next thing that's coming up. So it's always mm. going to make people who's into Marvel be like quite intrigued about what's going on. Um, so I, I don't really think they needed to give too much away in that trailer, if, if I'm going to be real with you. Mm. So that's probably why they did that. From from where I stand, anyway. You, you, I, I gather all of you have your points, but all, I think all of you are wrong. I feel this is going to flop. I give you my word. This oh, is going to flop. This guy, man. I give you my word that next year, this time, you are going to agree with me that this is going to flop. You guarantee, I, yeah? I, do, I guarantee. You guarantee. I guarantee. Do you, do you, this is. Do you know what? <laughs> they stole. They stole. They stole the. Uh, mm. The kind of intro from the TV show Bewitched. Uh, on purpose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. And it, you know, and that's on purpose. Oh, but, yeah. yeah, exactly. That's on purpose. Yeah, that's, that's on purpose. Yeah. You see where they all come together. Oh, you got to keep also, you, you, know, you know what? Yeah, one thing I would say. All come together. Yeah. One thing I would say, though, Pete, is yeah. like, I, I don't think there's anything wrong with uh, being excited about something because it's attached to a brand. Like, because when I think of like number one Disney, they've put a lot of money into Disney Plus, yeah. right? And and we know that because of the amount of trailers that have come out, the amount of excitement they've built up around what they're doing. The fact they've got a partnership with Marvel and Marvel are doing all these extra little things about mm. how much money they're putting into their studios and their new films. I know they're going to be spending a lot of time. Now, Disney, I would say like, let's, let's be honest, they, they don't invest in flops. And when they do, they'll brush it under the carpet as quickly as possible. And so far, Marvel hasn't really flopped a lot at all. You know what I'm saying? So I don't think there's nothing wrong with that. I get what you're saying. 21 is the first time it's going to happen. I tell you. <laughs> what, what <laughs> this that is not going to go anywhere. That looks like a garbage program. And I tell you what, I tell you what, yeah, as well, like alongside this is the fact that I think. My, my personal opinion, uh, and especially when we do the trailers, I always say this, is I, I love a trailer for anything that doesn't tell me what's going to happen, but gets me inquisitive. And this made me inquisitive. I was like, eh, oh, oh, oh. And it made me giggle a couple of times. I was like, oh, that, that was... Uh, I didn't get when she did the little ring on the finger, when they pulled the beds together, all them little... And then I see the trucks coming in. I'm like, raw, what's going on here? You know what I mean? Lovely little quaint town. And then suddenly some army trucks appearing on it. Wait. I'm, I want to know what's going on. I'm not saying it's not going to flop. I'm saying it's likely it's not. But it looks interesting to me. I'm excited about it. Uh, so I think this one, it definitely four out of five going to be watching this one. <laughs>